I wonder who the rhinos offended. They are some of the largest and longest living mammals in the world, yet several of their species have been driven to extinction and some are on the brink. These animals once fully grown in the wild have almost no natural predators because, let's face it, with their size it is probably not worth the efforts to hunt them. Yet their biggest enemies have turned out to be, surprise surprise, humans. While that revelation may not be surprising to most of us, what may be surprising is the reason why they are hunted or pushed. You see, these big, bulky, beautiful animals are brought down almost exclusively for their hunts. Yes, those two things in front of their faces. They have a very large market in China where they are used in the preparation of traditional Chinese medicine and for ornamental purposes. But here's the really juicy part. Rhino horn is made up almost exclusively of keratin, a protein made from skin modifications. In humans, it is used in the formation of our hairs, outer skin, and fingernails. In animals, it forms their feathers, horns, hooves, and you get the point. So these animals are essentially hunted because we can't gather enough of our fingernails to eat, I guess. I mean, the West African rhino, which used to be found in parts of Nigeria, is extinct for this reason. And the northern white rhino has just two species remaining, which are both females, so we might as well strike them out. It is also worth pointing out that there is no scientific evidence of these rhino horns being effective in traditional medicine. And killing them for ornamental purposes is just weird. Go buy a plastic horn or something. The story is not all gloomy as deliberate efforts to protect the rhin remaining rhinos seem to be working. Southern white rhino numbers have bounced back and even the Indian rhino seems to be doing fine. Maybe in the future I'll do a bigger compilation of more reasons why animals are pushed so you'll see just how ridiculous this can be sometimes.